You need a drill, pause the video, give this question a go first. It's a 12 mark question. Okay, so this is all about the Internet of Everything to do with manufacturing. So let's break this down. We've got the definition of Internet of Everything, great. We then talk about manufacturing, how it uses sensors to monitor equipment. So you can see if equipment is working efficiently, if it's becoming old, if it's becoming more laggy, if it's um, becoming, let's imagine I've got, okay, so a great example is my VR headset. My VR headset cell battery is dying, so I can only charge it to about 53%. It's connected to my computer, so my computer is alerting me to this fact, so I know that I need to replace that part. So having sensors to monitor equipment, also sensors to um, help the processors in real time, allows more control over something being made. So manufacturing is about making something. It provides great information data about the performance machines, like I said already, to allow manufacturers to identify and fix problems before they become worse. I can fix my Oculus Quest VR headset without waiting for the battery cell to completely die. But if the battery cell completely dies, it'll be too late. Also, with my Oculus Quest headset, it tells me if it's heating up too much, which could damage other parts. So it'll tell me to give it a break for a bit. That, again, stops future problems. So it helps efficiency, saving costs, and also improves quality because if I've got a machine which is um, becoming rusty and the sensors pick up on that, it allows me to replace that part. If it becomes rusty, the quality of my work will become worse. We've also not just got the sensors, but we've also got the actual use of our data. We can actually, by analyzing our data from everything, we can work out what's working and what's not working in our um, factory, in our manufacturing state. So you take this little picture as a bottleneck. Let's imagine that we're building PCs. This guy's building 12 PCs an hour, um, an hour. This guy's building five. This guy's building 20. Now, this guy's responsible for putting, A, it's responsible for the circuitry. B is responsible for putting the circuitry into um, the computer. And C is about building the monitor. The bottleneck would be this person here only being able to do five PCs at a time. This guy can put in 20 circuits an hour. This guy can make 20 screens an hour. But this person embedding the circuits into a machine, only five an hour, that will create a bottleneck, which will mean that we'll lose money, we'll lose business, etc. So, the internet of everything, by using technology, we'll be able to identify bottlenecks, what's slow, and then make changes. So what we would do is, we would probably hire somebody else to go alongside person B to speed things up. This will then lead to long-term cost savings and improved competitiveness. The main benefits of the IOE manufacturing um, are these, but the negatives is always to do with data privacy, security, the very fact that you've got different devices which talk to each other. If you've got a device like my Alexa talking to my uh, computer, someone can intercept the data, it can have cyber attacks. So manufacturers will need to have really expensive security and frameworks to ensure that people are using, because let's imagine that you're in a warehouse and manufacturers are using cameras to scan workers' performances. Would it be fair that they put that information online, like on YouTube, video clips of the workers working? No, it wouldn't be fair. So we need to have ethical and regulatory frameworks to make sure that people are using the data sensibly, fairly. And then we've got a nice conclusion.